Okay, guys, we're working on the camper again today. Uh, what I'm doing today, this TV antenna. This is a homemade digital TV antenna. Uh, you can find plans for these on the internet, many different kinds. We started making these several years back. This one actually spent uh, a few years up on the chimney, hence the rust and everything. But uh, I built a new one to put up on the chimney, so this one is uh, being relegated to camper duty. Now, I don't want it mounted all the time, and I want it where I can just uh, basically stick it in, hook up the coax cable, be done with it. And so what I come up with is we got the spare tire. We got a spare tire mount back here. So what I've done is taken this aluminum tubing, cut it at an angle, drilled a hole in it, used one of the existing bolts for the mount. And uh, so that's my tube, so to speak. Then what I'm going to do, I've got some of this. It's phenolic resin. Uh, it's an insulator used in circuit boards. It will work good. It also won't short the antenna out. What I'm going to do is put me a piece down in here like this. I'll cut it off. I'll slot it so that the antenna fits down inside. Put a bolt in it, and that'll that'll close it. And it'll be a temporary fix. But I've found when the wind hits the antennas and they move back and forth, it messes with the TV. So I would like to have it as solid as possible. Well, this tube is a little too big. If you'll notice, though, I have crimped that in on each side. And what that does, that takes up some of the space. I've done this way. I need to do this way. Okay, so I'll show you how I'm doing this. This is just a quick little, little hack you can do if you want to crimp. So I've got a pair of channel locks. I've got two drill bits. So what I'm going to do... We'll put a drill bit on each side, like this. Then I'm gonna take my channel locks. I'm gonna place over the drill bits and I'm gonna squeeze. And I'm just gonna do that up and down a little bit until it deforms the metal in like it did here. If it gets too tight, you take your channel locks, you adjust them down and you just bend out this edge, make you a little starting chamfer. So guys, that's another, you know, couple of minutes. It's a little hack. There's all kinds of tricks you guys can do to improve these old campers or anything else you're working on. So stay tuned. I'll probably come up with something else in a few days. Thanks for watching.